we did this before we did the concrete, all that tubing, staple it in. It was much easier working from that direction right now. I'm Megan and this is my husband, Bo, and our daughter, Beckett. Join us on our journey as we relocate our family to raw land in beautiful northeastern Washington. Watch as we start from scratch and build the life we desire. Don't forget to like and subscribe. staple like this side and have it hanging down. Boy. Okay. Ugh. Has anyone been upstairs yet to see if all these things are sticking through? What? I'm trying to figure out how to do this. I gotta go both ways here. Today we are installing our uh, radiant heat for the upstairs. If you guys remember, um, we did this before we did the concrete, all that tubing, staple it in. It was much easier working from that direction. Right now, we're doing it from under. So you can see. So everything has, has to be done from above your head, making it a little bit more difficult. And then uh, having to run the manifolds up through the floor. Oh, I'm just trying to figure out where all they need to go. But yeah, this is definitely a little bit trickier than doing it the first time around. Ow, what did you decide? I didn't yet. I'm still oh. We figured out that pre-installing what these things, what are, what are these called? Um, like it's easy to sticking the pipe up there to, to already have them halfway attached. You can't, they're, as soon as you start stapling them in, they like suction up there and then the pipe just sucks right down into that little U shape. Um, right here. It's only because we got the ultimate helper over there. So, once we uh, pre-install those, and then we run the pipe, just stick them in there, the, the pipe as tight as you can, and then finish sta um, stapling them up. Whew. Beer time yet? <laughs> Hold on. It's like the ultimate shoulder workout. Yeah. I agree. It's so much above your head. I definitely think it's better having these pre-installed. I think so too. It's definitely easier for me. What do you need? Nothing from you. Well, I can pull that way. Oh, 
now that he's out. You don't really. It's... Yeah, it's really loud without your earplugs. We did three. Are you out? <laughs> we got three circuits done. The whole one side of the upstairs. We're calling it a day because we've got plans this evening. So we'll catch you later. What are you wearing? <laughs> My dollar shirt, Minnie Mouse. <laughs> hey, these are perfectly acceptable work in house, work on the house clothing. Although I'm sweating, it's hot. One more circuit done. We have two left. But yesterday we had Bo's dad helping us. So you need a third person to spin the pipe, because it's so coiled, it doesn't just pull easy. Um, and so, Bo's got it all rigged up to his scissor lift here. Hey, man. And he's having to be the roller and stick it through, and then I grab it, run it down to the other end, secure it, get it down, and take the stapler back. So, really, we need a hose roller and a stapler runner. <laughs> and this would go a lot faster, but. Got another one done. So we only have two left and then the whole system is installed and it just needs to be hooked up to the boiler. She's feeding the line upstairs to the manifold. I said voila. Voila. Look at that kitty. Oh, hi Whitney. She says it. Well, it thinks. <laughs> The most determined cat in the world. Calling it a night. We have <laughs> one and almost a half, well, almost the second, the second one that we were working on done. Um, but we are out of staples. So, and we only had two rows left to go on that one. Till it's finished, but definitely, um, it was a lot easier when my father-in-law was here, so Brant, if you ever leave us in the middle of the project again, you're not welcome back. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but it was a lot easier having that third person. We're making it work, though. I definitely recommend if you're doing something like this to pre-staple all of those brackets up. It helps tremendously to have them all laid out um, before you start putting in the piping. So, yeah. Call it a night, we'll get some more staples tomorrow and get this all finished. time to get <laughs> I bet it took us an hour and a half to two hours yesterday. Yeah, it was probably about two hours. And we just did that in half an hour. Yeah. Much faster. So we just finished um, laying all of the tubing on all the circuits for the upstairs. There's three circuits on this side. There's four on that side. They're all in. Uh, did you already punch it up through the No. No. So both still gotta push punch it up through the manifold. And um, I need to go back through and put more of those plates. I bought every like, super foot plate plates. 
on all of them so that way it's attached to the floor for the best heating possible. So I'm gonna work on that while he does this. You want it about every foot or every two feet? I think we have enough to put a foot space in there. There would be over the washer and dryer. And the cabinet. Well, the cabinet's supposed to be lower. Are they going all the way to the ceiling? Yeah, there's uppers. The uppers are? Yeah. Oh, I don't know that actually. <laughs> I'll have to look at the height. These little aluminum things are kind of nice. They have this tray in them. So I can just push it right up over the tubing and they just kind of hang out until they get stapled. Makes it a little bit easier than having to hold them and staple at the same time. Is that the return? Okay. Oh. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> wow. Yeah, why is it so stinky? So here is a view of one of our remote uh, manifolds or manifold locations. So this is the main supply and return from the boiler. And then I'll hook these uh, distribution manifolds up to those and then all these lines are the loops under the floor joists so we'll get at it all right so I just secured that hooked up the main return the returns actually go on the top I'm not 100% sure why but this is an air emittance or air removal valve <clears throat> So apparently you get the bubbles off the return side. Again, I don't know why, but that's the way it is. That's about all there is to it. It's not rocket science. So I'm just going through and there's actual a number for each one of these circuits. I don't have the print with me, so I don't know what it is, but I'm just writing one R, one S, two R, two S, so. Number one circuit return, number one circuit supply. Just helps me keep it straight because I go through and hook up all the returns and then you come back and you put the supply manifold in front of it and then hook up all your supplies. So just keeping them straight um, just helps you keep a little more organized. There is some play these from downstairs from downstairs just because we don't have them secured yet um, right at where it penetrated the floor so we got a little bit of play here so I've been dropping it down a little bit and yeah. mark right where the barb ends cut it put the compression ring on and then that 
slam her home. These soldered fittings too, you can twist this, so you should really have a backup wrench on this when you're tightening it, but just snugging them up. And I just blow through them to make sure they're actually the same circuit. I was really surprised at how good these work. Like, I didn't even have a downstairs one tightened at all. And I uh, fired the system up and it barely leaked. The only reason, like I said, the only reason I knew they weren't completely tight is because I went down there and I could still move them by hand, but they weren't gushing. So, pretty efficient fitting there. Again, I think I said this before, but if any of you are contemplating doing your own radiant install, it's not, not a hard task. A little time consuming, but not that hard at all. <clears throat> if you have the opportunity, I'd definitely do it in stages like we did. So we had our garage and our shop, our garage shop area secluded or segregated from the rest of the system so we could fire it up first. And then that gave us a warm place to work and live in the RV. And then as the project progressed, we could, uh, we turned on the downstairs in the home. And now this is the final upstairs. It requires a few more pumps. And I guess ultimately a few, yeah, it probably still require pumps. I was gonna say it might not. You could just do it through valving, but, um, these larger areas need <clears throat> its own supplies and the pumps or the, the amount of liquid that you have to move to facilitate these supply lines will probably require it to be its own pump and valve system anyway. So. But as long as you work with your designer, system designer, it wasn't hard for them to, to add these at all that's how you do that when we put this in the closet so this is the closet of the office and the drawing had it showing right in the middle like as so you open the door they're right here so we decided to throw it over on the side wall um, this will just get like a return grate over it so you have access to this you should never have to mess with it but don't ever want to bury plumbing and valves in a wall. So like I said, we'll just put a, cut the hole in the drywall, put a uh, return grate over it. And that's how it'll probably stay forever. This one will go much faster. Oh, done. Good morning. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update. So yesterday I was able to totally finish um, the floor are uh, installing the aluminum thermal, um, I don't know, things. <laughs> and they, it was a time consuming project. It's not difficult or anything, but you're working above your head. My arms were getting tired. It's also, they're very dirty. And so like I, and I kept having to move my glasses. So I had a, a nice goggle line. It was great. Anyways, that's all done. Bo was able to get the um, three quarter inch pipe ran. That's what the hook straight to the boiler. So he got all of those manifolds in. Everything is um, hooked up and ready to go upstairs. And we even pulled the pipes through uh, um, to the boiler room. So now all he has to do is actually get it hooked up to the boiler. And then our house is officially 100% heated. Granted, our front door and our like um, dining room garage door feature are not in yet. So our insulation isn't finished in the house portion. But just having the heat on a tiny bit in here is really taking the edge off when we're working out here. Um, so our next big project is going to start getting the uh, plumbing, and, plumbing and electrical done in the walls. Um, and then we can start drywalling. I know, it, I mean, when I say it like that, it seems like, oh man, we're almost a drywall. But plumbing and electrical take us a while. We're not electricians or plumbers. And so this is all still a lot of learning. Um, but... Here we are, one step closer, can't wait. It's so exciting to see like all the framing up and all the floor heat in and everything. It really makes it feel like we're finally getting somewhere. So if you've been with us this whole journey, thank you so much. If you haven't, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Make sure you uh, hit that like button and we'll see you next time. Well.
that is unfortunate.